What would happen to the Earth if the sun suddenly switched off is probably the single most popular question submitted to What If? And it's been answered already. A search for What If the Sun Went Out turns up lots of excellent articles thoroughly analyzing the situation. However, there are a few aspects of this scenario that I thought other answers were missing, so I've decided to add my two cents. We won't worry about exactly how it happens. We'll just assume that the sun, for some reason, becomes a cold, inert sphere. What would the consequences be for us here on Earth? Better astronomy. Without the sun, ground-based observatories would be able to operate around the clock. The cooler air would create less atmospheric noise, which would reduce the load on adaptive optics systems and allow for sharper images. Improved satellite service. When a communications satellite passes in front of the sun, the sun can drown out the satellite's radio signal, causing an interruption in service. Deactivating the sun would solve this problem. Easier trade. Time zones make trade more expensive. It's hard to do business with someone if their office hours don't overlap with yours. If the sun went out, it would eliminate the need for time zones, allowing us to switch to coordinated universal time and give a boost to the global economy. Reduced risk of solar flares. In 1859, a massive solar flare and geomagnetic storm hit the Earth. A basic principle of physics is that changing magnetic fields induce currents and wires. Unfortunately for us, by 1859 we had wrapped the Earth in telegraph wires. The storm caused powerful currents in those wires, knocking out communications and in some cases causing telegraph equipment to catch fire. Since 1859, we've wrapped the Earth in a lot more wires. If the 1859 solar flare and storm hit us today, it's estimated that the economic damage to the U.S. alone would be several trillion dollars, more than every hurricane which has ever hit the U.S. combined. If the sun went out, this threat would be eliminated. We'd also be safe from the hurricanes, since the ocean would be frozen. Cheaper bridges. The Department of Transportation estimates that it will cost $20 billion per year over the next 20 years to repair and maintain all U.S. bridges. Many U.S. bridges are over water. Without the sun, we could save money by simply driving on a strip of asphalt laid across the ice. Safer children. According to health experts, babies younger than six months should be kept out of direct sunlight. Without sunlight, our children would be safer. Safer pilots. Many people sneeze when exposed to bright sunlight. The reasons for this reflux are unknown, but in some situations, it's speculated that it may pose a danger to pilots during flight. If the sun went dark, we could mitigate this potential aviation hazard. Stable dust orbits. Without sunlight, there would be no pointing Robertson drag, which means we'd finally be able to place dust into a stable orbit around the sun without the orbits decaying. I'm not sure whether anyone wants to do that, but you never know. Safer parsnip. Wild parsnip is a surprisingly nasty plant. Its leaves contain chemicals called furocoumarins, which can be absorbed by human skin without causing symptoms at first. However, when the skin is then exposed to sunlight, even days or weeks later, the furocoumarins cause a nasty chemical burn. This is called phytophotodermatitis. A darkened sun would liberate us from the parsnip threat. In conclusion, if the sun went out, we would see a variety of benefits across many areas of our lives. Are there any downsides to this scenario? Just one. We would all freeze and die.